Today's show is sponsored by Indie Film Hustle's Filmmaker Process. We provide filmmakers with professional services to get their films or series funded, finished, and distributed. For more information, go to filmmakerprocess.com. Uh, have you ever had to deal with an unprepared or difficult actor? And if you have, what do you, as a director, if it's a star, if it's a bit player, if it's if it's a secondary or supporting character, how do you deal with that as an actor, as a director, to keep the engine going? Um, you know, I've dealt with actors who 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 were too anxious to do well, and that's something you deal with. But when you deal with an actor who's not prepared, who was drinking at lunch, uh, that's a bad scene, and I'm not sure I handled it very well. I'm not sure I even knew what to do because there's not much you can do. Um, I suppose if you're in the position to fire someone, you can. But you also know that when you fire someone, you're also hurting yourself because they're not going to necessarily say, oh, it's fine. We'll go back and reshoot all this and we'll give you all the time back. It'll inevitably hurt you in some way. Right. Um, uh, I think well, there, 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 it's, there, there are two things. One, there are a lot of us, I think, who are perfectly willing to call each other out of the blue. And I won't mention names of... Um, guys who called me, but I could tell you that I have presumed to pick up the phone and call another director and say, before I work with this guy, I've heard something, just talk to me, tell me honestly, uh, this will never go any further. What am I looking at? What am I up against? Because that's a kind of honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that if, if they've had a bad experience, they don't want, they don't want you to have a bad experience. Directors, ironically, are very are very supportive of each other. We may be competitive in some in, in some industry's mind as to who could do a better film, but any director who's been through it more than once or has a life in it has real compassion for for their peers. Mm -hmm. So I will call people, and they will call me, and so that's one failsafe to avoid that thing happening. And only once have I been forced to use an actor that I didn't want to use that I'd heard stuff about. And it almost ruined, I think it actually did really hurt the third act of one of my movies. And I will not mention who that is, but it was, it was bad. And I hated it. And I should have fought it harder. It was because the movie was going out way over budget and they needed, they felt they needed another star. And it was just a bad scene. So there was that. Um, but the other thing is try to if there's a way that you know you're not going to get a movie star to read for you <laughs> right <laughs> but you can but you can try to spend time with them and and even though it seems awkward really try to talk honestly and get the measure of who that person is because people will tell you who they are i mean there's if you really listen when you anybody in life when you meet them mm -hmm. they want you to know who they are and, and, and if you can get past your own anxiety or your, or your expectations, mm -hmm. you know, I need this person to be in my movie, therefore I'm going to like him. Right. But in fact, what they're saying is crap or what they're saying is terrifying about, you know, their, their entitlement or their, uh, you know, pomposity or, you know, their ingratitude, things that really make you crazy. Uh, you, you end up, if you end up casting that person, then you get what you deserve. A Amen. Amen. <laughs> very, very, very true. To watch the rest of this interview, head over to IndieFilmHustle.com.